This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet, a slim front pocket wallet available in carbon fiber and titanium. With more than 250,000 sold, a lifetime guarantee and free shipping, get 10% off with the code GOLDFISH at RidgeWallet.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Monday means it's Modern Monday here in Instant Deck Deck Land, and we have a really interesting sort of mashup style of deck to look at today. I'm calling this one Traverse the Scales. It's kind of this mismatch of hardened scales, Traverse the Uvenwald, some weird construct tribal things going on. It's just a super spicy deck. It comes to us from Mayashiro Tomoyuki, who took it to an undefeated finish in a small Japanese tournament. So congrats to Tomoyuki on a really cool deck. A quick reminder before we break down Traverse the Scales for Modern. If you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made to videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So Traverse the Scales is built around, first off, Hardened Scale. So one man enchantment, whenever a plus one plus one counter would go onto one of our creatures, we get that many plus an extra one in set. So if we add one counter, we get two counters. If we add five counters, we get six counters. So just one extra, no matter how many we add. But this is a card that really powers up the deck because we're planning on not just beating down and making our creatures bigger, but having some weird like pseudo combo synergies built in as well. So Hardened Scales is backed up by Metallic Mimic. Metallic Mimic, mostly it's just a backup Hardened Scales. We play it, we name Construct, which is where most most of our plus one plus one counter synergies are. So instead of getting an extra counter, we get an extra counter from Metallic Mimic, which triggers Hardened Scale. So we get two extra counters right away. And then if we get other extra counters on things, it just spirals out of control from there. We can also use it to name a creature type of a creature that doesn't usually get counters very often and let it kind of interact with hardened scales that way but mostly it's just in the deck to put on construct because that's where our combo is so what is this combo we're talking about and our big plan here is hanger back walker walking ballista and arc bound ravager so hanger back double x comes into play with x plus one plus one counters uh you can tap it to add more counters it'll double up if we have hardened scale so it gets out of control really quickly walking ballista same mana cost except it can add counters counters for four mana, ping our opponent, and then Arcbound Ravager has Modular, which is super cool with this deck. So not only does Ravager enter with a counter, which will be two counters, but we can sack an artifact to add a counter, which will be two counters. So just playing Ravager with Hardened Scales out and sacking one artifact gets it to a 4-4, four, four, and then we can always sack the Ravager to itself and put all the counters on a Walking Ballista or a Hangerback Walker, depending on the situation. But the main idea is to name Constructs with our Metallic Mimic to get more counters with our Hardened Scales, and kind of the end game is to get a bunch of counters on the Walking Blizda and do that repeatedly to kill our opponent. So the next part of the combo is Glissa the Traitor. So Glissa, really awesome in this deck. 3 mana, 3 3, first strike, death touch, so really good on offense and defense, although a bit small. The big deal is whenever one of our opponent's creatures goes to the graveyard, we get to return an artifact from our graveyard to the battlefield. So what we're trying to set up basically is this creature creature mowing down combo. So let's say we have on our hardened scales, we got our metallic mimic. We're dumping counters on our walking ballista. We can remove all the counters from our walking ballista, shoot down one of our opponent's creatures, which is going to get us back the walking ballista. Then we can recast it. We're getting more counters on it right away, dumping more counters on it. We can also loop the hanger back walkers as creatures die to just make a huge board full of thopters. So Glissa is kind of the value engine as we're sacking things to Ravager to put counters on walking ballista to kill our opponent's stuff to get back to Ravager, to do it again and again and again. So we can theoretically just kind of drain our opponent out of the game with this weird synergy of Thopter Beats and Walking Ballista Pings and Arcbound Ravager counters, thanks to Glissa. Traversa Uvenwald is kind of the glue that holds it together. If we need a Glissa, we can find it because of Traverse. If we need Arcbound Ravager, we can find it. Walking Ballista, whatever piece we need, and because we have so many sackable artifact creatures, it's pretty easy. Just one of, like, Hangerback Walker, Walking Ballista, plus 
plus a fetch land gets us very close to having delirium anyway only needing one more card type so it's really trivial to turn on delirium in a deck with a ton of artifact creatures to go to the graveyard and then we're just tutoring up whatever we need all the time otherwise we have scavenge to use graveyard hate life gain does interact with hardened scales because when we eat creatures we'll get double the counters spell sky just kind of protects our glissa and ravagers tireless tracker really slow counters but it does get counters on it very very slowly as we sack clue tokens to generate some card advantage we also have a couple of planeswalkers nissa voices and are really crazy because the counters get doubled up with hardened scales so when we negative to it we're going to be putting two plus one plus one counters on all of our stuff if we have out the hardened scales lily just kind of for value kills creatures of our opponents with the sacrifice ability to get things back with glissa then we have a bunch of removal fatal push abrupt decay go for the throat one engineered explosives it's kind of like a pseudo wrath as far as the mana base we have a few special lands and remember with traverse uvenwald we can tutor up lands as well as creatures even non-basic lands if we have delirium so gavany township obviously just insane with hardened scales five mana counters on the whole crew doubling up with hardened scales tripling up with two hard scales pendelaven to pump our small creatures cavern to fight through counters field of ruin for tron then we have a bunch of fetch lands some shock lands some basic lands a couple other random dual lands in the sideboard we get a bunch more removal maelstrom pulse gets rid of anything collective brutality duress plus removal plus life gain nature's claim get rid of those ley lines of the void and rest in pieces then we have a bunch of graveyard hate nile spell bomb surgical extraction torpor orb to shut down things that enter the battlefield fulminator mage to fight through tron and creature lands pithy needle is a catch-all shaper sanctuary to protect our creatures from removal and that is traverse the scales for modern and that's our instant deck tech for today so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you soon thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here